Well, as we look at the full house here, and Ibrox Screwball Gaming back with you. How's it going? And the league is really getting to the business end now. We're into the final two games of the season. And there's only one point between Rangers and Celtic at the top of the league. And next week's big game is the Old Firm game. But this week we have the visit of Heart of Midlothian to Ibrox. And it's going to be a tough game indeed. Rangers of course needing all three points. Let's get this one underway. And the man to watch is Sam Nicholson with 12 goals this season. But I would say keep an eye on Robbie Muirhead who scores every time he plays Rangers. The number 23. This is a huge game today. And here is the Rangers team who have the job of keeping this winning streak going. It's Chaplin and Moore, labelled Juricic, Holtby and Hermani, Riley, Correa. Kirchi and Grezo across the back El Shinawi in the goal and as we said Celtic are only one point ahead of Rangers as we go into these final two games of the season there's this match here today against Hearts who have already put Rangers to the sword a couple of times in the league as we take a look at the Hearts side of course the danger men up top Robbie Muirhead as we mentioned and Keita it's a 4-4-2 Kitchen and Crooks in the middle of the park Rossi and Bohr at the back, Billy King of course out wide on the right, a former Rangers man of course he was here on loan. And this is a huge game, we can't stress the importance of this one enough. Rangers have to get through this and then they have a chance of sculpting their own destiny when the old firm game comes around. Gregor Melend is the man in charge today for this potential powder keg fixture between Rangers and Hearts. Let's get this underway. There's Rangers to kick off. Well, Rangers have been in a great run of form, but Hearts are formidable opposition. They may be well behind Rangers in the league, but they will take a lot of heart, if you pardon the pun, from the fact that they have beaten Rangers earlier this season, and comfortably so. But that was almost a dream start for Rangers with Connor Chaplin. Getting an early sight of goal. It's headed away. It's through a rock but held by Gonzalez. Rangers will be hoping this is the day that the Edinburgh side experience heart failure. Rangers can't afford a slip up here. All well, that old firm game may be meaningless next week if Celtic can open a four point gap then whatever Rangers do in the old firm game will be for naught so Rangers have to win here today to keep that gap to just the one point Celtic of course have their own game to deal with so Rangers may well be in the driving seat by the time that match comes around, it's Emery Moore, who often criticised for his lack of goal scoring, but he's found the net here, and what a crucial goal that might be, as Rangers keep their title hopes very much alive. It's the young Tuck, with his third of the season, a great worker for Rangers. Doesn't often chip in with the goals, but he's scored one today, and what a crucial one that might turn out to be as this title race unfolds. Rangers have to be careful though, the danger is always there. Robbie Muirhead, of course, will have to be watched. Special attention given to the Big Hearts striker. He's popped up with a few headers. Rangers caught out at the back on numerous occasions. 
course Rangers looking to put this game out of the reach of their Edinburgh opponents Rangers have improved immensely as the season has gone on victories of course against Barcelona and Borussia Dortmund and Manchester United of course along the way so they are capable on their day you just have to be careful concentration is a must this is Holtby coming forward, the midfielder Lewis Holtby he's just dispossessed and that is a throw in to Rangers just outside the Hearts area it's given away a poor one in the end this is Hernani Nicholson Nicholson loses out Rangers have the ball once more the Ibrox side with the 1-0 lead that goal coming from Emery Moore and it's Rangers who can just play some patient passing football at the moment good play this is Hermani Looking to slot it through, it's a penalty surely and the referee points straight to the spot and the Hearts captain Rossi sliding in and that's a huge error from the Jambos captain chopping the man down there that's Hernani, goes to ground Rangers have a chance from the spot it's Juricic to take and it's saved and you wonder why Rangers didn't go with one of the more confident strikers of the ball. Rangers could have the 2 0 lead. Should be two in front. Instead, this game's still on a knife edge. That's very capable. Here they come forward. That's good defending from Rangers. Taking no prisoners there. Here they come again wins it back, it's an excellent play into the area the shot is touched away he can't touch it in at the back post well that man will know they've had chances to put this game out with the reach of the Jambos it's a corner the header comes back lets it go, and it's a goal kick disappointing result there it's Gonzalez who's had all the work to do as far as the keepers are concerned El Shinoli not involved as of yet I'm sure he will have a call to action at some point in this game that's a not to be dismissed it's a good interception this is Hernani the man who was brought down for the penalty subsequently missed Oh. Saved. Rangers with the ball over the top, looking for the pace of Connor Chaplin, but he's going to be just muscled off it there. Rangers with another chance. Shot from downtown! And that is quite simply stunning. And they do have, in fact, that two-goal lead now. And what a way to score. Look at this one. In off the post. Thank you and good night. Hearts are broken here at Ibrooks. A wonderful finish. And you get the feeling Rangers were not to be, de not to be denied here today. They knew the importance of this game. And it's Joe Riley. The left back getting in on the scoring action. A tremendous finish from quite some distance. And you'd have to feel Rangers brimming with confidence now.
Here they come again. Well, he's virtually unchallenged here. It's, oh! Well, almost stabbed in. You'd put your house on Connor Chaplin to have finished that one off. That really would have put Hearts to bed. As it stands, still 2-0. It's just gone out of play. Half time approaching here at Ibrox. Rangers with a comfortable 2 0 lead. A wonderful strike from Joe Riley, the left back, having a dig. So, four minutes added on. Rangers looking to come forward once more. Connor Chaplin just screened there. The referee says that's fair play. This half time whistle is about to sound around Ibrox. It's been a wonderful first half performance. It could have been better. Juricic, of course, missing the penalty. But the goal's coming from Emery Moore. And that man, Joe Riley, with an absolute peach of a hit from outside the area, in off the post. And it's Rangers who have the comfortable 2 0 lead at half time. And the word comes in that Celtic currently drawing at McDermott Park. You would expect them to get the victory there, of course, come the 90th minute. But it's promising at the moment for the Rangers fans. And here comes Tim Leibold, racing forward. Gets, doesn't get past his man. Hearts would have been disappointed with that first half showing. You wonder if they will come out with renewed vigour in the second half. They won't want to go down here without a fight, but that is an injury. And it's McGee who goes to ground. And he's done his shoulder there. And he'll have to go off. As Rangers give the ball back. And the substitution is made. It's Reras coming on for the injured McGee. It's a nice ball in. Rangers can clear. Only as far as Billy King. Hearts looking to build down the right hand side. It's a good tackle. Nice ball up the field but it's intercepted. This is Crooks, the former Rangers man. Rangers win it back once more. That clearance is not convincing. We have it now though. Just calming play down. A nice ball over the top. Looking for Emery Moore. Oh, that's a terrible challenge there, right through the back. Could have been a red card situation, but the referee says no. Play on. I'm sure a yellow card will be coming the way of the Rangers man. Rangers, of course, don't want to risk any suspensions with this old firm game. A potential title decider coming up. And Andy Halliday is coming on for Matt Crooks, two former Rangers players, one making way for the other as we pass the hour mark. Rangers have to be careful. Well, it's Hearts who've played some of the better football in the second half. So far, but it is Rangers who have that crucial two goal lead. And Emery Moore wins it back. It's good play. Oh, just a poor pass in the end. The move breaks down. As Rangers go in search of goal number three to really put the sheen on this. Hearts coming forward. And just done well there. And 
It's a good challenge, but the referee says free kick. And he has to be careful, Jao Coria. An absolutely crucial name on the Rangers team sheet. And he just gets a telling off. Cannot afford to lose him for next week. That old firm game looming. Time for changes. Hearts with the ball into the box. It's not cleared convincingly. Eventually it's in the hands of El Shinobi. We can just have it once more. This is Hernani. Hernani looking for the overlap. That move just didn't come off. Now it's Hearts coming forward. You fancy a move here but breaks down. That Rangers defence just too good for them. Today anyway, that's out of play. And Rangers can make the three changes. It's Connor Chaplin going off. Musa Marega, Bobby Wood and Costinha coming onto the field. To see out these last 15 minutes or so. Rangers quite comfortable. Hearts have not offered much today. It's been very disappointing from the Hearts perspective. But Rangers will be delighted. Rangers just zipping it about at the moment. With confidence. Chance here. Strike just turned behind by Gonzalez. Nice move from Rangers. Punched away. The shot not entirely cleared. That's a foul. Hart's now looking to break. And just get lucky with the interception. It should go all the way back to the keeper and does. Into the final 10 minutes here at Ibrooks. Rangers still comfortable with the 2 0. You know, quite a turnaround from the earlier performance in the season against Heart of Midlothian. Rangers much, much better today, and there's another chance. Oh, he's just over hit that, has he? Just overrun it. Should have been three. Rangers know it. They've had chances. Not least the missed penalty. But time is running out now, and this one. It's going to be a win for Rangers. Two minutes added on here at Ibrooks. Too little for Hearts. They may have a chance for a consolation, but nothing more. In fact, it's safely into the hands of the Rangers keeper. And that is a huge victory today for Rangers as they look to well the next game a huge one the old firm match he's disappointed he's been a, had a bad day as have the rest of the Hearts players Joe Riley with an absolute screamer he's had a wonderful day the Rangers left back scores his first ever goal for Rangers and what a way to score it let's take a look again at the action it was Emery Moore with the early goal to ease the nerves just before the 10 minute mark. Nice ball in. And Moore touches it into the net. A wonderful finish from the Turk. 
then on 37 minutes here we see Joe Riley the right footed finish in off the woodwork from quite some distance tremendous stuff from the left back a finish any striker would be proud of And that's the way it ends. Rangers 2, Hearts 0. <laughs> Celtic lost. Holy moly. This next one's going to be a barnstormer, folks. <laughs>